Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm doing another Disney 24 hour readathon. So, my friend Meg is hosting a 24 hour readathon, and I thought, what better opportunity to do another round of my Disney 24 hour readathon? So, this round, we're doing things a little bit differently. So, I'm actually gonna let you guys take control of my readathon. So, you're gonna be picking things like my TBR, my activities, my outfits, what I do during the day, and basically, everything about the next 24 hours. So the way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna be putting up polls on my Instagram account and my followers over there are gonna be able to control this readathon vlog. So obviously the first thing that I had to make you guys choose was my TBR. So I actually put up polls a couple of weeks ago to prepare and make sure that I had all the books that I would need for this readathon. So let's go over what you guys picked for me. So I was a little bit sneaky. So I asked you guys to pick between different Disney movies without telling you that these were actually books that I was making you choose. So you picked your favorite movie, but you didn't know what book I would actually pair with each. So the first poll that I put up was between Mulan and Snow White. So what you didn't know is that you were actually choosing between Reflection by Elizabeth Lamb. This is a Mulan retelling, as you can tell by the title and the cover, and Kingdom of the Blazing Phoenix by Julie C. Dow. This is a Snow White retelling. So the winner was actually Mulan, which means that Reflection wins. I'm actually really happy that you guys picked this one because Mulan is my favorite Disney movie. And also this is part of the Twisted Tale series. And as you guys may know, I am trying this year to make my way through the series and to finally catch up to it. So this is going to be a great way for me to stay on track and read more books out of this series. Up next, I asked you guys to pick between Beauty and the Beast and Alice in Wonderland. So what you guys didn't know is that you were actually choosing between A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer, which is a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and A Blight So Black by L.L. Kinney, which is an Alice in Wonderland retelling. So the winner was actually Beauty and the Beast, which means that I will be reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. I'm not surprised by this result because I know Beauty and the Beast is a very beloved movie and I'm really excited to be reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely because this one has been on my TBR for a while and I know it's very popular amongst the booktube community. Finally, I asked you guys to pick between villains and princesses. So for this one, I did things a little bit differently. Instead of picking a specific book for each, I just wanted to get an idea of what you guys would rather see. So for villains, I had picked City of Villains by Estee Lord. It's a new release and I was really excited to get to that one. And then for princesses, I hadn't really picked a book. So I thought that this would be kind of my wild card. And if you guys had not choose one of the books that I wanted to read in the previous polls, well, I could always save it and use it for this prompt. So surprisingly, princesses won. I was really expecting villains to win, especially because my villains content is so popular on my channel. But I'm really happy that you guys picked princesses because that means that we're just going to be making my way through my super long Disney TBR. So the book that I have picked for this prompt is Poison by Jennifer Donnelly. So this is a Snow White retelling and I'm really excited to get to it because Jennifer Donnelly has written quite a few Disney retellings especially featuring princesses. This is one of her newest release. I don't think it's the most recent one that she's put out, but I'm excited. It's super short as well, so I think it's going to be perfect for the next 24 hours. So there you have it. That's my TBR for this 24-hour readathon. I don't think I'll be able to read everything. Quite frankly, I think I might be able to read maybe two of these and maybe start a third one. We'll see what actually ends up happening, but right now it is 8 p.m., or a little bit after that, and the readathon starts at midnight. So what I'm gonna do right now is put up a poll on my Instagram story to ask you to choose my first read out of these. Personally, I think I would like to start with Reflection because that's the one that I'm most excited about, but I would honestly be down to read any of these. I think Poison could also be a really good pick because it's super short. It's the shortest one out of my TBR. <laughs>
Good morning everyone. It is the next day and I have to get ready because I am supposed to join Meg, the host of this readathon, for some live reading sprints. So I need to get dressed and I asked you guys on Instagram to pick between the two shirts that I'm going to be wearing. So we have to choose between Ursula and Aladdin. So let's see what you guys have picked. All right, so let's see. And it's 50-50. So I could wait it out and just wait until one of them wins. But as I do have to get ready for the live stream I have to get ready and like pick up a shirt to wear so I think I'm going to go with my <laughs> Ursula t-shirt because it's honestly super comfortable I think out of the two options is the one that I'm most comfortable in so I think that's the one that I am going to put on for now and if like the poll changes throughout the day we can always change our shirt so it is now much later it's about 1 p.m so half of the readathon is already over but worry not i have made so much reading progress so i have been reading a curse of dark and lonely because that's a book that you guys have picked for me on instagram so i was kind of surprised by this pick not really surprised because i was kind of expecting beauty and the beast to win but i was kind of hoping that this book would be a last resort for me i was kind of keeping it on the back burner and i really wanted to focus on the two other books as they're quite shorter but so far i'm pleasantly surprised because I'm halfway through like I read so much this morning during the live sprints with Megan and I'm currently on page 204 so far I'm enjoying it I really love how Harper is very Harper is our main character she's like the belle of the book and she's very uh, strong-headed and uh, she doesn't take shit from anyone which I really like and our two male protagonists there's kind of a love triangle going on but it's not a love triangle. I don't know how to explain it. Ren is a prince slash beast and I like him. I don't really have a lot of thoughts on the characters so far. I feel like even though I've read so much I don't feel connected to any of the characters so I think it would be hard for me to pick like which side I'm on. Like I like Harper and I like the two male characters but I don't have a favorite. Like I cannot pick sides so far. So right now I think I'm going to check to see if Megan is still alive and if she's still doing sprints because I know when I left to grab lunch she was still running some sprints so I think I might try to pop by and see if she's still on. If not I'm just going to be reading for a bit because um, this afternoon my mom wants to go on a walk so I know um, that's going to cut um, off some of my reading time so I want to make sure that I read as much of this as I can. I think our goal for today is going to be to finish this and maybe start something else. That was not the plan initially but this is where we're going now. It is nearly 6 p.m. It's a little bit before that and I realized that I haven't really updated you throughout the day and that is because most of my day has been spent reading A Curse of the Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer. I've made quite a bit of reading progress. I only have about 100 pages to read so I am currently on page 356 and I am really enjoying this book. I don't think I actually told you guys what this is about but basically it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and as any Beauty and the Beast retelling it includes a curse. So there's a curse where the prince gets turned into a beast and in order to break the curse, someone has to fall in love with him. Where it differs is that our main character Harper kind of gets kidnapped and swept away to this world against her will. The way it happens is that she sees this girl being taken away against her will and she decides to try to save her. So she goes with like her iron bar and like she um, like beats her way to saving this girl but instead she is the one that gets taken away. There's a lot more at play here and I feel like I'm not explaining the book really well so if you guys want more info on this book the link will be in the description box. I always link the books that I mentioned in the description box down below so if you guys want more info on this um, check the link below because I feel like I cannot explain this properly even if I have been reading this book for hours and like I'm quite far into it but I feel like it has a level of complexity that I'm not really able to put into words so yeah check the link down below but yeah um, my goal for the next couple of hours because there's only five hours six hours sorry I don't know why I thought five guess I can't count but there's six hours left to the readathon so um, I think I can finish the book within 
the next hour or so, maybe a little bit more. And after that, we're going to try to read something else. Now, I realize that I haven't really made you guys vote for anything in the past couple of hours since I have been just making my way through my book, but I really want to watch a movie tonight. This is one of the things that I like to do during these readathons is take that opportunity to also rewatch some Disney movies. So I am going to make you guys vote for the movie that we're going to be watching tonight. I have been making my way through the Disney films in order of release date. So I'm up to 1995. So I'm going to make you guys vote between Pocahontas and Tour Story. I know a goofy movie also came out in 1995, but I rewatched that like a couple of weeks ago, like maybe two weeks ago. So now in order, the next two are Pocahontas or uh, Tour Story. I don't really know which one would win. I have a feeling Tour Story might win, but I might be surprised and I would be okay with either title because honestly, I haven't watched those two in a while. It's been quite a bit since I've rewatched either of those. So I would be down for any of them. So I'm going to put the poll up now so that you guys have a couple of hours to vote before we're ready to watch our movie. And I'm going to continue to make my way through my book. I did it. I finished reading A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Cameron. And wow, I loved it. I loved this book so much. I was not expecting to enjoy this one as much as I did. I think it started slow. Like I was distanced from the characters like I didn't really connect to them right away but towards the end I was just like feeling for these characters and I was oh I loved it I cannot recommend it enough and I think I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars I really enjoyed it like I can totally see this being one of my new favorite series because I know there's more books in the series so I'm definitely going to be looking into reading the next ones and uh yeah I really enjoyed it I loved it and that ending, oh my god, a lot was revealed and I'm really excited for the sequel. So right now I think I'm going to get ready for my little movie night. You guys have picked um, Tour Story, which I was not really surprised by. As I mentioned, I thought that this one would win. So I think I'm going to go remove my makeup, wash my face, and put on my pajamas. And then we're going to watch a movie. I have picked my next read though. I was going to read Reflection because that was the one that had gathered the most votes after Beauty and the Beast. But I have a video concept for this one and I don't think I could finish it anyway, like tonight, because it is 400 pages. So I think I'm going to keep it and try to read it at another time even though I am so excited to get to it but I think I'm going to prioritize Poisoned instead because it is 300 pages it's the shortest book on my TBR and I feel like I might be able to read it and finish it before midnight so that's the one that we're going to be reading um, but right now like I said we're going to get ready for our movie night Alright, so that was fun, but it's now 9.30, so let's read. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I wanted to do one final reading update. So basically last night I fell asleep, so I didn't get to the midnight mark. I think I fell asleep at around 11 p.m. I just couldn't do it anymore after the movie. I was so exhausted. I just wanted to close my eyes and I was slowly making my way through the book, so I think I just fell asleep at some point. But I did manage to get a little bit of reading done of Poison by Jennifer Donnelly. So I managed to get to page 82 and I don't think I really told you guys what this is about, but this is a Snow White retelling and so so we're following our main character Sophie. She's a princess or evil stepmother kind of hates her and uh, one day she sends her with the huntsman and the huntsman is tasked to take her heart. You're familiar with the story and this one it's a little bit different because the huntsman actually manages to get Sophie's heart and so I know you're wondering how did she survive? Well the seven dwarves actually stopped by like came by and saw her and one of them is a clockmaker and he manages to make like a contraption that will act as her heart so it pumps blood and everything so she survives. I haven't managed to make it super far into the book so I don't really know what happens after that. I think we're trying to figure out why she wanted her heart because there is this mystery in the book that the evil stepmother is not the one who actually had the idea to get Sophie's heart. It was actually given to her by a man and 
this is the person's identity that we're trying to figure out. We don't know who that man is. We don't know what he wants and we don't really know anything about him besides the fact that he's evil. So far I was really enjoying the story. I liked how different it was because even though it's very close to the original Snow White tale, there are major differences like the fact that Snow White survives but also there's this mystery around who the man is like I've mentioned before and it starts right at the prologue. Let me read you the part that really enthralled me and like made me want to continue reading. It says, in the forest, the birds have gone silent. The creatures are still. Gloom lingers under the trees. And on the cold ground, a girl lies dying. A ragged red hole where her heart used to be. Hang the huntsman, you shout. Burn the evil queen. And who would fault you? But you've missed the real villain. It's easily done. He's stealthy and sly and it comes when you're alone. He stands in the shadows and whispers his poison. His words drip, drip, drip into the small secret chambers of your heart. You think you know this tale, but you only know what you've been told. I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was so interesting. I read that and I was like, oh my God, I need to know more. Like I really wanted to get more out of it. So um, I'm really excited to continue reading this. I also really like how German culture is really included within the story. Like the names are very German. There's a lot of German food mentioned and overall, the author has managed to include some elements from German culture and as you may know Snow White is a tale that comes from German culture so I thought that was a really nice addition to the story and so far I'm not too far into it but I was enjoying what I have read. So overall that was such a fun experience. I loved having you guys control my day like you picked what I read, you picked my TBR, you picked my outfit like the movie that I watched and I just had a lot of fun giving you guys control over the course of the day. I think next time I would like to give you guys even more control so I'll have you guys pick what I eat and um, maybe do more activities throughout the day because this time I did a lot of reading which I'm not mad at because th this is a point of a readathon but next time I think I would like to maybe do more things throughout the day and give you guys all the control so make sure you follow me on Instagram so that you can pick for next time the link will be in the description box down below so now I think that's it so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I guess that's it and I will see you guys in my next one bye